by a group of teens. This is the latest in a string of violence in that area. Caitlin Flint has the latest now on what's becoming a troubling trend. It's the latest incident Boston police are investigating in a series of violent encounters in downtown Crossing. A woman telling police Monday she was confronted by 10 to 15 teens for having her hair in braids. Police say they arrived to find a group of about 20 teenagers in the area. The victim telling them she was kicked and punched by the group, who called her a, quote, white expletive with braids. Officers say while making arrests, one teen began kicking the cruiser doors, another allegedly punching an officer in the face, and another reportedly kicked an officer several times. Several of these incidents involving teens have now been reported in the area in recent weeks, including vandalism at nearby Silvertone Bar and Grill, where a police report says teens shattered the glass storefront, and a reported assault at Black Seed Cafe, which a police report also states later turned into an assault on an officer. Five teenagers are now facing charges in connection to this most recent incident that happened on Winter and Washington Streets. Now, the victim in that case told police she identified as being Hispanic. Now, when the Boston Globe asked officers if this was being investigated as possibly being racially motivated, they did say that their civil rights unit has been notified. In downtown Crossing, Caitlin Flint, NBC10 Boston. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, we got this final video today, and um, it's a pretty crazy one in which the media will not be showing this at all, apparently, because, you know, um, they don't seem to uh, really want to uh, call this out, and that's kind of a problem here. And uh, But we know this is, a, uh, this is a typical thing for most people. So uh, we'll try, I'll show you exactly what's going on and uh, see exactly what's going on because we're going to see pretty much uh, nothing really talking about it, as always. So, um, as you can tell from the video there, is that, uh, as you can tell from the video there, is that, uh, yeah, these people went up and attacked this lady, and uh, that was kind of the biggest problem, uh, attacked this lady, and she had to be sent to the hospital, etc., and this is a huge problem. Mm, so, uh, of course, it's all due to, you know, She's been wearing braids, and they also may think it's like, oh, it's a cultural appropriation or whatever. Okay, it, yeah. It's, it's really showing on how crazy these people are, honestly. So, and let's blame the media and, uh, you know, the and the far left for actually trying to uh, radicalize these people and make them incredibly dangerous. So, there's that, which some of these people should be put in jail for doing that. So, let's get into the article here and uh, see exactly what's going on. NYC victim of anti-white crime says suspect, suspect accused of her being Trump fan. Okay. I have a video here. And it's not really going to show too terribly much. These are the, pretty much the people here. So it goes on to say... The, the Queen's bus rider assaulted on an alleged anti-white crime told the Post on Sunday that the, one of the, her attackers accused her of being a Trump a fan of former Trump, President Donald Trump before the assailants bashed her, her on the head. Jill LaCrosse, a 57-year-old grandma of five, was left bleeding after she was blitzed by three black women July 9th while riding the city bus, an attack investigated by the NYPD's hate crime task force. Before they hit me, the girl with the green hair said, You probably like Trump, don't you, LaCrosse recalled. I said, I love him. I didn't see which one hit me. Uh, I, I said, I love him. I didn't see which one hit me first. The one with the green hair, is, is, she was saying she hates white people, the way they talk, hates the white skin, the way the way their skin cracks, saying she was gangsta, said the bartender who was headed to, headed to visit her mother at the time. I was the only white person on the bus by the time was st was we started passing St. John Cemetery on Woodhaven. She started sa started in on me saying, that's where I'm going to bury you. She had a bag of from Bath and Body Works, and she took out a scrub and said she was going to beat me with it. It was a tangerine, LaCrosse said. She said, you're going to get what you deserve. All white people are going to get what they deserve. It was it was crazy. LaCrosse, who, who, who has three biracial children, said she needed three staples to close the gash on her head. I didn't know, even know how bad the wound was, she said. They said me down on the bus and one of the passengers said uh oh you're bleeding pretty bad lacrosse was on attention was on a stealth 
southbound Q53 bus at Jamaica Avenue and Woodhaven Boulevard at the time. Cops put video of her suspected attackers, including one with, with bright green hair. The victim estimates that the three suspects were in their late teens to early 20s. The one with the green hair was, was the mouth, but they were looking for trouble, Rockhawk said. When they got on the back of the door of the bus, they were laughing, and the one with the pink hair said, yeah, I kicked that baby stroller. More than a week later, the attack was, has left the victim shaken. Never never in my life have I been attacked like that, Cross said. They said they hate white people. Yeah, and they're also, people are also saying how black people can't be racist. Well, this is obviously proving that the black people can very easily be racist. It's just, for whatever apparent reason, the media wants to obviously say that they're not racist. But, you know, let's just keep on believing that lie. So... As we see here is that we have these people, these obviously these lunatics, these racist, um, very radicalized evil people that are um, want to be elderly women for no legitimate really good reason. Um, and I honestly think that these people should be 100% arrested um, and not let out of jail for a long time. This could also be uh, put as a uh, political attack, too, because if you're saying something about Trump, which was a political figure, you could also put a slap on a political political attack on this because, well, I mean, they did it politically along with a race charge. Um, this is part of the reason why the, this is part of a problem where, um, like in the video, that there's been a rampant of crime going on there. It's probably because the New York DA uh, is obviously not putting people like these like these guys in jail because they they also have previously crimes beforehand and they've been released for no legitimate reason and they are harassing people and actually injuring people in an assault and this is a huge problem and the DA lets people like this but they let a bodega worker that is actively defending himself in jail this is a this is a complete and utter state of New York and what people have to live there with and uh, it really makes me sad that the New York has become to this uh how uh this quite death of a haven of a place that where people where people cannot feel safe especially since it's white people now because apparently they're the, their main issue and now they're being attacked you know for racist terms but you know nothing bad there right uh, well we can thank the far left for actually trying to uh, that's uh, radicalizing these people and making them actually more vicious than they technically already would so we'll kind of see how this all plays out long run and uh hopefully we see some uh serious jail time with these three evil individuals all right guys that's it for the video like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one take care whoa whoa, whoa. i uh forgot to do something here uh so i also was going to show you guys the exact what the whole type of thing is going on here and who's been posting what uh so uh we'll kind of see exactly what's going on here so first off we have uh, we have this where if we go to news, you will see if we have New York City victim of anti-white crime. Uh, we have we see this. Nobody's talking about it. None of the big news. Not even New York Times is talking about it. Asian woman, obviously, and all this stuff. None of the, well, the Washington Post is not even talking about it. So you put this here. Do we go to all? And the only thing that you'll see here is the New York Post posting this. And that's pretty much it. And then you have the NY Daily News, which would be posting this, which they kind of have to at this point, right? Which is, this is also blocked by, you know, having your email and stuff, you know, being readily available. So, that being said, you really only see two of the top stories here. That's it. And you don't have anything else. So, obviously, the media is not showing this. So, a little piece of appetite. So, you see some people wondering why I get only news articles or stuff from these specific these specific areas or from these specific uh, um, uh, journalists and stuff like that or sites. It's because the media, the media likes to paint only certain things as a story. And they won't talk about other things at all. So, this is part of the reason why I do it. I have to be correct in what, finding what I can. And if there's not any news stories about it, that's the reason why I don't use CNN or MSNBC and all this other crap. Because they actively want to, you know silence a lot of other stuff that's you know that needs to be talked about all right guys now this that's the end of the video like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one take care